It's easy to look at Korean skincare and just think, this is so cute. The fruit, the animals, but the truth is we have a lot to learn from Korean beauty. As a beauty editor for New Beauty Magazine, there is always a new product, treatment, or trend to try. I'm Ana Jimenez. Follow me and some of my favorite experts in the industry as we experience all the beauty world has to offer. This is Beauty Experienced. In South Korea, beauty is a national pastime. Skincare, a daily ritual, and everywhere you look, there are celebrities, billboards, and stores selling flawless, dewy porcelain skin. It's a cultural obsession. To put my finger on the pulse of the Korean skincare trend in America, I head over to Koreatown in New York City to meet up with Charlotte Cho, an esthetician who has made a living bringing Korean beauty products to the States. In Korea, what I've learned is that skincare is very much a part of their culture. They live and breathe skincare. They believe in a skin-first philosophy, and they really value taking the time, energy, and even money to really invest in taking care of their skin. Part of their skin-first philosophy is care about the ingredients that they use. Also, it's about how they use the products and not really about the products themselves. While it may seem like K-beauty got popular overnight, skincare has been important in Korea for hundreds of years. It's not a new phenomenon. Because of that, the product innovations coming out of Korea are at least 10 years ahead of what is being produced stateside. Perhaps that's why American cosmetic companies are looking to Korea to drive new trends. Korea is really known for their innovations, and I think it begins with the consumers. Korean women are very picky about what they put on their skin. So this really keeps Korean beauty companies on their toes. They're very adventurous. In six months, they'll have a new product out. Whereas in the US, it might take two to three years. As we continue our shopping, one thing becomes clear. While the heavy-duty enzymatic exfoliators might be packaged in plastic apples and face masks have cutesy designs, Korean skincare is serious. These are super high-powered products with superb ingredients. One of the biggest misconceptions is that if it's cutely packaged, it's not high quality. In Korean beauty, even cutely packaged products are high quality. Everyone, no matter how old they are, they love the way things look and they don't mind if it's adorably packaged. Um, and I really believe that Korean beauty products, they really bring the fun in skincare. Yeah. Skincare is entertaining, skincare is not a chore. After we gathered up all of our bounty, Charlotte and I headed back to the new beauty offices to talk about the latest innovations in Korean Korean skincare. Sheet masks have been around in Korea for over 10 years, um, and now we're starting to see a lot of the brands stateside come out with their own sheet masks. But in Korea, if you go walk down the street and you see a beauty shop, you're likely going to see a sheet mask that has fun and interesting prints on them. Oh. So they work exactly like a regular sheet mask. The only difference is, is that they're a little more fun. We've got prints that have a lace pattern. There's actually lace built into the mask oh, cool. inside the hydrogel. Very elegant. It's very elegant. And we also have some kind of masquerade type masks. Okay. And then this one is in uh, the form of a tiger. This right here is a moisturizing cream made with goat's milk. Goat's milk is high in lactic acid, which really helps brighten the skin and it also helps exfoliate so your skin is feeling softer and smoother. Snail mucin is an extract filled with hyaluronic acid, glycoprotein enzymes, lots of nutrients, a lot of ingredients that really help hydrate and moisture your skin intensely. A lot of people that use snail mucin skincare products notice that their fine lines have been reduced, they really feel their skin is supple and soft, and that's the reason why snail mucin is very popular. What we have here is the anti-turbo patch from the brand Misha. Okay. And what you do is you place one of these clear patches over your acne. Okay. And it'll help it heal faster. And it'll also help prevent your fingers, dirty fingers, from touching. Ah, that's the, brilliant. The patches are made with salicylic acid and tea tree oil. Okay. So it really helps reduce inflammation. So this is another multitasking product. It's from the brand Neogen. They're really known for their innovative products. This particular product smells heavenly. Oh, just so good. So what this product does is it exfoliates chemically and mechanically. You gently use circular motions so you will remove any dead skin cells. Then you could also pat as well because patting helps absorption of the product. 
It goes deep into your pores to clean out any dead skin cells that settle into your pores. So this is a new innovative makeup product that is coming out of Korea through the Branson and Park. This is actually a foundation stick. Hmm. And what's so special about this foundation stick is that it has an essence core. Essence is a treatment category in Korea. So with an essence core, when you're putting on this foundation, you're not just covering, you're actually protecting the skin, you're actually hydrating it. These are amazing products. Thank you for bringing these in. My pleasure. Now you have a book coming out, is that right? I do. It's called A Little Book of Skincare, Korean Beauty Secrets for Healthy Glowing Skin. In my book, I talk about how I fall in love with Korean beauty culture, and I also pair my esthetician knowledge to share more beauty secrets. Great, well thank you so much for coming in. And if you're interested in the book, you can find a link below that I'm gonna put there so everyone can read about all of these amazing products. And of course, we gotta be up on the Korean beauty, because it's everywhere now. Yes.